Good morning dear brothers and sisters, today we will see the book of 2 Samuel chapters 21 and 22. Chapter 21 During the reign of David, a period of famine extended over the land for three consecutive years. Seeking the guidance of the Lord, David inquired about the cause of this prolonged famine. The Lord revealed that the famine was a consequence of Saul's prior actions particularly his violation of a treaty with the Gibeonites. David, desiring to make amends and remedy the situation, approached the Gibeonites to seek their terms of restitution. The Gibeonites did not seek revenge on Israel, but they requested the execution of seven of Saul's sons to atone for the past atrocities against them. David spared Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, due to the covenant between David and Jonathan, but handed over the remaining sons of Saul for execution. Rizpah, the concubine of Saul, stood vigil over the bodies of the executed sons, guarding them from vultures and wild animals. David, moved by her dedication and the solemnity of the situation, gathered the bones of Saul and Jonathan, along with the remains of the executed sons, and buried them in the family tomb of Kish. Saul's father Following this act of reparation, God heard the prayers of the land, and the famine was lifted. The people were relieved, and the land once again flourished. Chapter 22 David, reflecting on his life's trials and triumphs, broke into a song of praise to the Lord. A psalm that conveyed his deep gratitude and offer God's faithfulness and deliverance throughout the years. In his song, David spoke of God as his rock, fortress, and deliverer. He recounted how God had saved him from his enemies and perilous situations. He vividly described God's powerful interventions, likening them to natural phenomena like thunder, earthquakes, and storms. David acknowledged God's righteousness, faithfulness, and purity, contrasting them with the wickedness of his adversaries. He recounted instances where God had rescued him from his enemies granting him strength and victory. David declared his loyalty and devotion to God, affirming God's covenant and the blessings it brought. David concluded his song by acknowledging God's role as a mighty and benevolent deliverer, rescuing him from the schemes of his adversaries. He expressed his gratitude for God's steadfast love and grace. This psalm of David provided a powerful testament to his faith in God capturing the essence of a life marked by challenges, victories, and unwavering trust in the Almighty. These chapters present a narrative of reparation for past wrongs and a powerful psalm of gratitude and praise. Illustrating the importance of seeking reconciliation and expressing profound appreciation for God's faithfulness. David's actions and words underscore the significance of acknowledging past transgressions, and recognizing God's enduring presence and deliverance. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we journey through the pages of 2 Samuel chapters 21 and 22, we are reminded of the themes of reparation, gratitude, and trust in your unfailing presence. We come before you in prayer, seeking to embrace these themes in our own lives. Lord, we are grateful for the opportunity to seek reconciliation and make amends for past wrongs. Help us to acknowledge our own shortcomings and work towards restoring relationships and healing wounds. Grant us the strength and courage to face the consequences of our actions and the humility to seek forgiveness. As we reflect on David's psalm of gratitude and praise in chapter 22, we are inspired to offer our own songs of thanksgiving. Thank you, Father, for being our rock, our fortress, and our deliverer. You are our refuge in times of trouble, and we find our strength in you alone. Your faithfulness and steadfast love sustain us. May we, like David, proclaim your righteousness and acknowledge your hand in our lives. Help us to cultivate a heart of gratitude, remembering the countless times you have rescued us from trials and tribulations. Teach us to trust in your sovereignty and goodness. In times of famine and abundance, may we remember to turn to you in prayer, seeking your guidance and trusting in your provision. May our lives be a reflection of the faithfulness and love you have shown us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Dear brothers and sisters, we will continue with the next chapters of 2 Samuel in the next video. Thank you. God bless you.